time is our ballroom. And uh, it doesn't look like it did in 1990 when they filmed Silence of the Lambs there. The famous cage scene was filmed in there, and it's completely different now. Um, but it's the, it's the, now it's the scene of many, many wedding receptions, even some, uh, some ceremonies. Just about every weekend we have a wedding reception in our ballroom, beautiful grand ballroom. Um, and we also have other events in there, corporate events, expos, um, blood drives, but it's, it's utilized. And that was part of when the building was built, that was part of the reason to build it this way. So it wasn't just a, an open, empty shell that looked beautiful from the outside and grand from the outside. It was a functioning civic center, basically, on the inside with meeting rooms, including the, this large ballroom and the auditorium downstairs. So we're making the best use of that as we can to raise revenue for the nonprofit. Um, and one of the things that we do and we've been doing is trying obviously to, to save money and we're trying to go green. We're trying to be one of the oldest green buildings in the, in the area. All the lights that you see are, uh, are CFLs or, or LEDs, um, except for a few that they haven't made the, the same styles for us yet. But just a year and a half ago, we, placed, re, we replaced nearly a thousand light bulbs throughout the whole building in the ballroom and the auditorium with LEDs and CFLs. Uh, including in the ballroom, we changed the fixtures so they would accept a, uh, a lower wattage bulb. Um, so we're constantly looking at ways to save money and be more efficient in, uh, in how we operate. Because unfortunately, that's what will keep this place open and, and, and alive is, is money. Um, and I mean, that's the case for many things, obviously. But there's a lot that we realize and recognize that we can do uh, on, our, uh, on our own to further our, our, our life here. Um, so it's, it's an ongoing challenge, I like to call it. Uh, but it's a fun one because it's a very, very worthy cause for what we're doing. And when you look at the building, someone may say, what are they doing to the roof? Because the most, from the outside, besides the cannons on the front lawn and the grand entrance, the other thing that is very uh, recognizable and, and, and people remember is the, uh, the copper roof, uh, the pyramid roof that is at the very top. But there's other functioning roofs. There's different level roofs throughout the building. And the, the main level, the, the roof, the roof that covers our very, very important artifacts um, is the roof that we're working on now. And the, the roof itself is going to be replaced and then eventually capped off with a green product. So um, it will help with uh, stormwater runoff, it'll help with insulation, and just extend the, the life of the roof, which in turn will also extend our, uh, our financial uh, stability. So, you know, again, we, we, we are not just this old building sitting here waiting for life to run its course. You know, we want, one of my most favorite quotes in the history of the building was when they laid the cornerstone in 1908, October 2nd of 1908. And the building was just in the beginning of, its, uh, of the construction stage. And the mayor, I'm sorry, the, uh, 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 yeah, the mayor of the city of Pittsburgh at the time um, commented to the Civil War veterans who were there that the grand building uh, was being built in their honor so they would never be forgotten and that it's, it needs to be here for generations to come. I'm sure at the time he wasn't thinking, you know, generations beyond you know, 60 or 70 years, well, here we are over 100 years later, and we now are looking at another 100 years. We just put a new cornerstone time capsule in the building uh, a year ago, and we're very, very confident and hopeful that it'll be opened in, uh, in another 100 years, and they'll be learning more about us. And, and the building, obviously, will hopefully will look the same, but just have maybe... Uh, a few more energy saving uh, items to it, but um, we need to just do what we can to, to, to keep this building open and the mission 
uh, that we have alive and well.